It was a whirlwind day in Flint, with the Michigan Attorney General announcing the first charges in connection with the city's water crisis. Two state employees and a city worker are now facing jail time, accused of failing to treat Flint's water and altering test results. 24 Hour News 8 Sarah Hurwitz is here to break down the charges, and she has reaction from the governor. Sarah? On well, two press conferences today, the charges announced by Attorney Bill Schutte indicating he's just getting started. And Governor Rick Snyder's response to the charges focused on uncovering the truth while maintaining his innocence. If you break the law, you serve time in jail, period. Michigan Attorney General Bill Schutte didn't back down his stance in holding those accountable who are allegedly connected to the Flint water crisis. After announcing charges against two Department of Environmental Quality employees and one Flint city worker. My job as Attorney General is to enforce the law, and that is what I do. Michael Glasgow, the Flint Water Quality Supervisor, is facing a felony charge for tampering with evidence and willful neglect of duty as a public servant. Stephen Bush and Michael Prisby are charged with misconduct in office, conspiracy to tamper with evidence, tampering evidence, and violations of water treatment laws. They were placed on administrative leave without pay. The two worked for DEQ when Flint's water supply switched from the Detroit system to the Flint River. A number of questions left unanswered at the press conference. I'm not going to get into the uh, particulars and the facts that gave me that proof. That's all I'm going to get into as it relates to that. Well, then you would ask me to get into the facts and details of the case. It's a good way of doing that, but I can't and I won't. These charges, Shooty promised, are only the beginning, stressing no one is above the law. We're going to be aggressive. And as I said in my statement, we will leave no stone unturned. We will go where the truth directs us. Let me start by saying these are deeply troubling and extremely serious. In response to the charges, Governor Rick Snyder was firm and to the point, saying the truth is most important for a community ridden with a humanitarian crisis and for the entire state, but pointing the finger at others. I've consistently said that a handful of bureaucrats had created a terrible situation in Flint from the beginning. Um, if these accus accusations are correct, this would take it to a whole new level. And when asked whether he did anything criminally wrong, this was his response. Again, I don't even want to get into that kind of speculation. I don't believe so. And so the point here is, is this is much my point about how I ended this, about saying um, I'm concerned about how this could go over with 47,000 employees in the state of Michigan. Bush and Prisby were arraigned on the charges this afternoon in Flint, and they're expected to be back in court next month. Glasgow did not appear in court today. In studio, Sarah Hurwitz, 24-Hour News 8.